Hi Year 11s, this video is about the evaluation for the high T function. As always it's 400 words and just like the group decision making you are allowed to use I, my, we, our decisions etc. Um, because it is a group task it's important to reflect on your personal performance and the group performance so you're encouraged to use personal language this time whereas every other time I would have told you to exclude it so it's okay to include need to rewrite the task here so just see the group decision making where it's got task. The first section is your role and teamwork so rather than just simply listing what you did you do need to reflect on how it went okay so go above and beyond just saying my role was to do this this and this you would say my role of this this and this was completed successfully or was a challenge to complete because all right, so your responsibilities leading up to and on the function day, all right, and how were they um, achieved? Is there any challenges? And then also your team skills. So if there was any positives and negatives to what kind of team member you were and how you communicated uh, with your small group and the class as a whole. Evaluation of the trial. So this was a big part of the process. First of all, you want to state the name of the recipes that you trialled and then explain if they worked, why, why not, what sort of went wrong, why were they perhaps included or excluded from the function. If they were included, um, what did you change or adapt or were they perfect as is? Did the cake, for example, have to be cut up into smaller pieces or um, did the icing have to be changed or the filling of the burger have to be adapted a little, etc. What you want to aim to do here is try and provide at least two examples. So even if your dishes didn't get chosen, then talk about two um, that you're involved in in the two trials and explain why perhaps they weren't suitable. But examples are really important here. Now we want to talk about evaluation of the final product. So that is referring to the function day itself. First of all, evaluating processes, technology, techniques, or anything that was really key when you were preparing and cooking your final recipe. So this can be during the preparation cooking, but definitely during the high tea function day, so the morning when you're in the kitchen cooking. Okay, did they have a successful impact on the practical or did they provide a challenge for whatever reason? Then explaining the particular dish that you were in charge of, or if there was two, um, what presentation did you use? Were there any trends evident? Now, when we say trends, this can also relate to your chosen theme, for example, because the theme we choose may not necessarily show uh, modern trends, but you can refer to the presentation being relevant to the trend or the theme okay, that we worked on as a class. What was the taste, texture and quality like? And that then links in with the guest feedback for your products. If there was anything specific, um, maybe a rating that they gave it or any comments written or verbal feedback that you heard, it would be good to include here. Just a sentence or two is plenty. And then you may also find that you get overall comments about the event as a whole. Um, so one comment about your product and one about the overall event would be excellent. Now, evaluation of the practical day and the function itself. So food aside, thinking about the outcome. So what were you responsible for? Was it the waiting, greeting, bar, um, remaining in the kitchen, etc.? And how did you go achieving that? Was it challenging or was it, was it a success? Um, and how did, how did you know that? Um, what were some indicators? Your personal performance. So were you focused? Did you manage your time or were you making mistakes? And did you have to make any decisions? So as always, you don't need to comment on every single one of these, but just choosing something about your personal performance to comment on. Lastly, group performance on the day as well. What was communication like or the allocation of jobs, organisation leading up to the day and inclusion of others? So choosing one or two key things to comment on that you feel were significant for the group. Um, now, what you will find is that there is a few extra sort of headings. So when you go to write this, you need to be conscious that you're not spending 300 words on one section and not leaving any more words for the others. So as always, straight to the point, um, a few sentences about each key point and no wasted words and you will fill your 400 very easy. As always, ask questions if you're not sure, but hopefully that makes sense.